Hello and welcome to Mtandao Pro Web Designers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a fully working professional e-commerce website using WordPress. But before we start, I would like to show you a quick demo of the website that we are going to create in this video. So this is the website that we are going to create. You can see this is a very beautiful homepage. Okay, so this is the home page. You can see that I'm displaying a few products on the home page. Okay, so this is a, an, a, a website that sells, um, you know, plants and seedlings. Okay, you can see this is the home page. You can have a few testimonials to showcase on your home page. Then what happens when a customer wants to purchase a product from uh, your website. So uh, when a customer clicks on shop now, they will be directed to the shop page. And here they will find very many products that you are selling. So this is where all your products are going to be displayed. So the customer has an option of sorting these products you know, by popularity, by price. Assume this customer wants uh, only low price products. So they can uh, filter or they can, you know, they can filter by price from low to high. And so they will have the products with the low price uh, on top. So let's say they want to buy, you know, these Euphobia engines. So let's click on that product. Okay, so you can see this is a single page product, or rather the single product page, sorry. So you can see uh, some description of the product and other related products. So now what they do is that they will click on add to cut and this product will be added to cut. And then when they click on view cut, they can be able to uh, proceed to check out. So let's click on proceed to check out. So here they will have to fill in their details, their billing details. So let me do that very fast. So let's say those are the billing details of uh, the customer and see, and you can see here they will have several options of payment. Uh, there's cash on delivery, there's PayPal or debit or credit card. So this customer can choose whether they want to pay via PayPal or to pay via credit and debit card. So what they do, assume they want to pay via credit card, they just click on PayPal, this PayPal button at the bottom, and this uh, there will be a pop-up here where uh, they will be required to pay with PayPal, but if they don't have a PayPal account, they can still proceed to pay with their credit card or their debit card. So what they need to do is to click on this button, create an account, and a form will be displayed where they can be able to fill in their card details, as you can see. So they can be able to uh, to pay with their card details. They can uh, enter their card number, you know, expiry date, and all that. All that, and when they scroll down to the bottom, you can see this button uh, agree and continue. So when they click on this button, of course, having agreed to the terms and conditions, they will have, you know, they will have uh, made this payment and they will have made the purchase. So that is how to, uh, to, or that is how a customer will be able to, uh, pay or make a payment on your website after they select the product they want. So that is just a quick demo of the website that we're going to create in this video. So if, it's, if it is your wish to create the same website, what you need to do is to follow my steps-to-step -step, uh, tutorial so that you can be able to create the exact website that I have shown you. But before we proceed, I would like you to subscribe to this channel. if is your first time being here and you haven't subscribed so that whenever I upload a new video you will be the first one the first one to get notified 
of any new video so let's get right into it okay so to create any kind of website there are two basic things that you need so one is a domain name and the other one is hosting so what is a domain name so a domain name is simply the name of your website for example the domain name of google is google.com if you want to go to google for example what you do is that you type google google dot com so google dot com is the domain name of google if you want to go to amazon for example you type amazon amazon dot com so that is a domain name so that is one of the major things that you need a domain name then the next thing that you need is hosting so what is hosting hosting is simply a service that enables you to upload your website to the internet so that it can be accessed by everyone around the world. So if you ask me, hosting is the most important part of your website because it is the one that determines the speed of your website, the efficiency of your website, you know. So you should be very keen when you are choosing a company that is going to offer hosting for you. If you choose a company that is not reliable that will give you a scrappy you know hosting it will be detrimental to your website so you have to choose a web hosting company that is reliable and will you know you will not have downtimes with your website now there are many hosting uh, web hosting uh, providers you know uh, you can name them namecheap hostgator GoDaddy, Hostinger, and all those. All those are reliable web hosting companies, but there is one that I have used for a while now. I have been hosting my websites there, and I can confirm that it is a very reliable web hosting provider, and its name is Truehost. Truehost. So if you want to go to the website of Truehost, all you need to do is to open your browser and type truehost truehost t r u e host and then dot c o dot k e okay truehost dot c o dot k e that is the website of a truehost web hosting providers so there it is um so I want us first to check the domains that are available. So there are many domain name extensions that are available, you know, .com, .co.ke, .net, all those are extensions. And what you do is that you purchase those domain name extensions. So what we are going to first do is to check the availability of those domain names. So think of the domain name that you want so let me for example type mtandaopro.com let's say I want to acquire this domain name so I, I need first to check whether it's available because it could already been have been bought by someone else so what you do is that you check for availability okay so you can see um, it says Congratulations, the domain is available. So it is available. So what you need to do is to add to cart. So we want to purchase the domain. So what you do is that you add it to cart and then click checkout. Okay. So we are going to be directed to this page. So you can see it, uh, it tells us that no hosting has been selected. So the other thing we need to do is to select hosting the hosting package that we want to go with so when i click on this blue button so i will be redirected to the packages available for hosting you can see there is this one true host silver hosting then you have this one um true host gold hosting uh there is also this one true host platinum hosting and of course true host unlimited 
hosting so depending on your budget you can go for any any um package um i recommend you to go for for not a very cheap one not a very cheap one because if it's very cheap it may end up being you know not very reliable in terms of speed and efficiency so and of course uh you if you are not able to go for the unlimited hosting which is 15000 shillings i can recommend you to go for the true host uh gold hosting this one here this one that is marked as featured okay so what you need to do is to click on order now okay so our domain is mtandaopro.com uh, so we use this one and then click on continue okay so click on continue okay so um you can see that we have added a domain name and now we have also added a hosting package so what we need to do now is to click on continue so that we can now go to the checkout page okay okay so in total you can see that we are supposed to pay a total of uh, 1229 kenyan shillings for both hosting which is for one month and domain name which is for one year okay so uh we can now proceed to checkout okay okay before we check out if you don't want to you know to, to go with assume you want to pay for for more months you know 379 shillings is for one month hosting for one month so the more the number of months the the more the or rather the less the the amount that you pay for example you can see that you pay 379 shillings for one month if it's three months you pay 349 shillings per month for six months you pay 329 shillings so and for one year you pay 291 shillings uh, per month so assume you want to go with that package for 12 months all you need to do is to click on that one 12 months and you can see that now you are uh you, you know the, the amount that you ha you have to pay has been uh changed to 4349 shillings so that is the amount you need to pay for both hosting and a domain name for one full year which is quite affordable so um the next thing that you need to do is to click on check out now so we now want to check out we want to pay so what you need to do here is to fill in your billing details so let me do that very fast okay so you fill in your billing details and then there are several payment options that are available for you there is mpesa there is bank transfer there is uh, you know paypal there is credit and debit cards so you choose the one that is best for you the one that you prefer and then after you choose the next thing that you need to do is to complete order so when you click on this button complete order of course having a tick marked this a checkbox that you have agreed to the terms and conditions so uh, your order will have been placed and your payment will have been made so i'm not going to do that because i already bought a domain name so that was just a detailed guide of how to purchase a domain name and hosting from truehost web hosting services so after you make the order you're going to receive a bunch of emails uh one of them of course will be of confirming your payment that your payment has been received and the other one is about you know information about your domain name so uh you will receive you know a link to your domain name and of course very important is a link to the control panel so this may take a while it may take a few hours and this may go up to 24 hours for your domain name to 
be propagated. So you're going to receive a link to the control panel. It's a, a special link for everyone. So mine will not be the same as yours. So what you need to do is to click on that link that is going to direct you to the control panel. So the control panel is where you're going to to do all the activities on your website from. So let's do that. So let me log in into my control panel. So you need also to log in to your control panel so that we can move on together in this tutorial. So this is my control panel. This is my control panel. So I believe yours also looks the same. So what we need to do now is to install WordPress. So as I said when we were starting this tutorial is that we are going to create this e-commerce website using WordPress. So WordPress is a software that enables us to create websites, uh, you know, very simple, uh, you know, without coding, without programming. I know most of us are not, you know, programmers or experts. Uh, experts in coding so wordpress is really a convenient way for us to create a website it's going to simplify all this process of creating a website for us so this is the control panel what we need to do is to scroll down to where we have wordpress so you can see uh, the down here you can have we have softaculous apps installer so this is the software that enables us to install WordPress on our website. So all you need to do is to click on WordPress so you can see WordPress. So you need to click on WordPress and then when you scroll down you can see this button install now. So before we install we are going to fill in some details here. So at the top here you can see the domain that you want to install WordPress on. So of course uh, I'm going to okay then you can also see directory so I want you to leave yours blank so where you have directory you're going to leave it blank so that the WordPress will be installed on on the main domain name that you have just purchased but for me I'm going to to add a, a directory because already I have installed WordPress on my on my main domain name so but for you you're going to install it on your main domain name so do not uh, type anything in the directory uh, label so I'm going to type tutorial tutorial 2 then uh, where you have protocol choose protocol you make sure it is HTTPS and then um, colon and two slashes so uh, there's a difference between HTTP and HTTPS so for HTTPS it means that it is secure it has an SSL certificate that makes it more secure so you need to choose HTTP, HTTPS and then down here uh, we are going to give our site a name so by default the name the site name given is my blog so you can change it to the name of your website the name that you want to give to your website maybe it's, I'm going to name it my e-commerce website my e-commerce website my e-commerce website and then site description you can you can write something brief about your website for now I'm going to leave it blank okay or rather I can just write I can just uh, leave the one that was there initially this is my website okay you can just write anything a short description about your website then uh, we have the username I'm going to leave it as admin and then password you can change the password to the one you like so I'm going to change my password so you can also do the same and then you can change the email the admin email you can just insert or enter your personal email address and then we scroll down to the bottom where you have email installations sent to so you can also enter the same email address where the 
the installation details will be sent to. So I think we are done with that. So what we need to do is to click on install. When you click on install, you can see that at the top here, uh, WordPress is already being installed on your WordPress and within a few seconds it's going to be installed as you can see. So now there are two very important links that have been provided for you. You can see WordPress has been successfully installed at so this is your domain name and then you have the admin the, the link that is going to direct you to the admin end the administrative end of your website so when you click on your domain name it's going to take you to this page so this is your website as you can see that's how it looks so we want to change it to look uh, you know like the one I was showing you uh, on the demo website that I was showing uh, I showed you as we were starting this tutorial so to log in to our dashboard or the admin dashboard what you need to do is at the top here you need to add slash WP hyphen admin okay your domain name and then slash WP hyphen admin okay so that will take you to this page where you are now going to log in into your admin end of your website. So you're going to enter the username that we just created. So mine was admin and then I enter my password. So you also enter yours. Okay, and then click login. So you're going to be directed to the WordPress dashboard. So this is the WordPress dashboard. This is where we are going to do all our changes to our website so that it becomes an e-commerce website like the one I shown you in uh, in the introduction of this tutorial. Now, before we do uh, much on this website, there are a few settings that you have to make before uh, before we we install or before we create our e-commerce website so the first thing that we need to do is to go to where you have pages on the left hand side you can see pages okay and by default there will be two pages that are created for you the privacy policy page and the sample page so i want you to do one thing i want you to tick mark the two pages and select move to trash so i want us to delete those two pages and click apply so the two pages have been deleted so the next thing that i want us to do is to go to where you have plugins go to installed plugins and of course by default there will be two plugins that have been installed for you so i want us to do the same to tick mark the two plugins and then we delete them we so we're going first to deactivate them we deact of course they are deactivated so what i want us to do is to delete so just click on delete and then click apply so do you want to delete these plugins okay so the two plugins have been deleted so what i want us to do i want us to add a new theme so what is a theme so when you go back to your website this is how your website looks like okay this is completely different from our our you know the, the 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 demo website that i showed you as we were starting this tutorial so this is because of the theme so a theme is responsible for the appearance of your website so this appearance of this website is because of a theme and this theme is so when i go back to my dashboard and then i go to appearance and then themes you can see that the active theme is 2021 theme if for example i change this theme to let's say uh 2019 theme so let me activate the 2019 theme and then i go back to my website so you can see the appearance has changed this is because of the theme so i want us to to uh, add a theme that we're going to use for our e-commerce website the name of this theme is astra astra theme so all we need to do is to go back to appearance go to themes and then click add new at the top 
add new and then we are going to search for a theme by the name Astra so A S T R A Astra theme so this first theme is the one we need so we need to install it okay so let's wait as it is installing so the theme has been installed then click on activate and the theme has been activated so when you go back to your website you will see that the appearance has completely changed this is because of that theme that you have installed so i want us to do one thing i want us to go back to themes and then we delete the other themes that we are not using so there are three themes which are not in use so i want us to delete them so all you need to do is click on theme details and then click delete so you will have deleted 2019 theme then 2020 theme we also delete it okay so we do this to make our website as simple as possible so we also delete that one so that we only have one theme that is installed and activated so after we have done that we need now to install a plugin that is known as Elementor so what is a plugin a plugin is basically a software that adds more functionality to your existing website so we are going to install a plugin so when I go to plugins click add new we are going to search for a plugin by the name Elementor so Elementor is a page builder it's actually one of the most popular page builders it's going to enable us build our website so this is this is it so what I need to do is to click on install now so you can see it is installing so let's give it a few seconds as it is installing so after installing okay we need to activate so click on activate and you can see that it has been activated then the very most important plugin that I want us to download or to install is known as starter templates so when I go back to plugins and click in uh, add new I'm going to search for a plugin by the name starter starter templates so when you just type starter templates or just starter you can see it this is it this is the plugin that we need so what this plugin does is that it uh, gives us ready-made ready-made you know templates that we're going to use and this will save us a lot of time instead of building a page from scratch we can use the already made templates and this is going to be uh, uh, convenient for us it's going to save us a lot of time so you just need to click on install now okay you just need to click on install now and then click activate okay so now the plugin has been installed and activated so when you go to appearance when you go to appearance you can see there is a new option that has been added that is starter templates so when you click on it starter templates you're going to be directed to this page we are going to select Elementor as our page builder and this is going to give us a wide range of ready-made templates okay so some of them are free some of them are premium of course we are going to use a free one but if you have got some money you can use a premium one but for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to use a free a free template so what I need to do I'll just click on this drop down and then select free okay and then go back and select e-commerce so you can see there are a number of them are free e-commerce templates so I'm going to select this one okay so you can see there are some options there is an option for previewing the site before importing it and then there is import complete site and import home template so I want us to to import the entire website so we are going to click on import complete site then you can see this pop-up 
so um a wordpress you can select any it doesn't mean anything you can select intermediate you're building a website for yourself for your client and then you click next so you can skip this or you can still you know fill the, the details but for me I'm going to skip okay so you can see that the process of importing has begun so let's wait for a few seconds or a few minutes as the site is being imported okay so uh, the template has been imported so you can see this button view site so when we click on that button we are going to be redirected to our website now so you can see that this is how our website now looks okay completely different from what was there before and of course you can see that this is a ready-made website you know all pages have been imported and it looks very beautiful okay so that is it so what if now you do not want to deal with you know plants and seedlings you want to sell something else so you need you know to upload new products so let me show you how to do that so let me log back to my dashboard okay so this is my dashboard so i'm going to go to woocommerce so you go to woocommerce okay not woocommerce you go to products so below woocommerce you can see products then click all products so this is the list of all your products so i want us to do one thing i want us to tick mark everything and then click on bulk actions move to trash and then apply okay so this is going to delete all the products that we have okay so we still have a few that were in the next page so we do the same we click on we tick mark all of them select bulk actions move to trash and then click apply so all the products have been moved to trash we do not have any product in fact when you go to your site you can see when you go to shop page okay you can see that uh, you know there are no products that are being displayed so we need to add our own products so let me go back to dashboard so let me show you how to add a product so what you need to do is to go back to products and then cl click add new okay so here you're going to give the name of the product maybe it's uh you know anything let's say uh a swivel chair so i can just write office chair office chair sorry office chair and then below there on this space you're supposed to give some description about that product okay so when you go back to the demo website that i showed you when you are starting this tutorial okay you see that uh when you go to let me select a product so when you select a product like this one for example you have this description okay so this the short description and then when you go to the bottom you have the long description okay so where do we write the short description and the long description so what we do is that um we write the long description here so let me just copy let me just copy the long description from here so this is the long description let me just copy it and then paste it there oh, sorry i copied even the image okay let me delete that so let me copy that afresh so this is the long description so let me copy it up to that point so i copy and then i paste it there that way so that is the long description and then the short description i'm also going to copy the short description so this is a short description of our product so i will copy it from there and then i paste it down here where you have the product short description then 
after doing that we need to add the price of our product so let me say the price is 400 maybe so you can see that uh, the price is in the, the currency is in US dollars I will show you how to change the currency to the one you want okay so after we indicate the price the next thing is to upload the product image so you can see uh, down here you have product image so you click on set product image so you can select the image okay so I'm going to upload an image from my laptop okay so let me go to pictures so this is the picture so that is the product image then click on set product image so there it is so I think everything looks fine so what we need to do is to click on publish okay so that product has been published okay so when we go back to our website you see now that uh, when we go to the shop page okay you can see that one product has been added so this is just one product so if you have uh, a number of products so you just upload them like that one by one one by one so the next thing that I want you to do <coughs> I, I want to show you is how to change the currency so let me go back to my dashboard so to change the currency to your desired currency what you need to do is to go to uh, WooCommerce and then go to settings uh, scroll down so you scroll down to where you have currency so you can see the currency is set to US dollars so you can change that to any currency of your choice so I'm going to select Kenyan shillings so Kenyan shillings that way then click save changes okay so when you go back now to the products page when you go back to the product page you can see that now the price is Kenya shillings 400 that is how to change the currency of your products or, or rather how to change the currency on your e-commerce website so I want us to to try to purchase this product just as a regular customer would do on your website so what they need to do is to click on on the product and then add to cart and then view cart so then they proceed to to check out so when they click on proceed to check out so they will be able to fill in their billing details but at the at the bottom here you can see it says sorry it seems there are no available payment methods so what we have done is that we have not added any payment methods and that is what I want us to do I want us to add payment methods and I want us to add two payment methods one is by PayPal and the other one is by credit card or debit card so when I go to when I go back to my dashboard I go to WooCommerce and then settings and then go to payments so at the top here you can see payments you can see these are the only payment methods that are available for us at the moment that is cash on delivery and then direct bank transfer so I want us to add a, another one that is PayPal and credit card stroke debit card so uh, I want us to go back to plugins now there's a very popular a way of adding a credit card or a debit card that is known as stripe but unfortunately stripe is not available in all countries for example even in my country stripe is not available but don't worry about that because there is also another very reliable way of uh, you know integrating payments by credit card or debit card and that I've used it for a while and it's 
actually very reliable. So that is what I want us to do. So uh, we are going to go to plugins. So we're going to install a new plugin. So let me go back to plugins and then add new. And then I'm going to search for a plugin called PayPal Checkout. So I just select, I just type PayPal Checkout. PayPal Checkout. That way. So um, this first plugin is the one we need. It's WooCommerce payment, WooCommerce PayPal payments by WooCommerce. That is the th that is the plugin that we need. So what I need to do is to click on install now, and then activate, and then activate. So the plugin has been activated. So when I go back to WooCommerce and then settings and then payments. You will see that a new payment method has been added. That is, uh, let me see. So now this is not the one I wanted. So I'm sorry for that. So I want us to delete that one and install a new one. That is not the one I wanted. So let, let's go back to plugins and then installed plugins. And then we're going to delete this one. WooCommerce PayPal payments. I'm going to deactivate it and then delete it. So I delete. So and then we add a new one. So at the top here you can see add new. So I'm going to add new. So search for PayPal checkout. PayPal checkout. So this is the one we need. WooCommerce PayPal Checkout Payment Gateway by WooCommerce. So you see they look almost alike, but there is a difference. This is the one we need. Okay. Uh, so you click on install now. And then click activate. So that is it. That is the one we need. So when we go back to WooCommerce and then settings and then payments okay so you can see a new payment method has been added that is paypal checkout okay so uh, what you need to do is to click on manage okay so what you're going to do here is to link our paypal account to our website here so that when a person makes a payment we are we shall be able to receive the payment in our paypal account whether it's through credit card or debit card, the money will be sent to our PayPal account and then we shall be able to withdraw the money to whatever you want. Um, so I'm going to show you how to connect this. So I want us to... So uh, you can see there is a button here that says set up or link an existing PayPal account or click here to toggle manual API credential import. So that is what we're going to do. So click on this link. And there are three things that we need here. We need the live API username, the live API password, and either the live API certificate or live API signature of our PayPal account. So I'm going to show you how to get that from your PayPal account. Actually, there's a video I've done on how to you know how to allow payments via credit cards and debit cards so if you want to learn more about how to allow payments via paper i mean via credit cards or debit cards uh, there's a link in the description of this video so when you click on that link you'll be able to be directed to that video so we need to log in into our paypal account so you log into your PayPal account. Okay, paypal.com. So click login. Okay. Okay, so uh, once you are there, you need to go to, at the top you can see uh, this link more, and then not more, but tools. We're going to tools and then all tools. Okay. 
and then uh, when we scroll down on the left you can see integrate PayPal so I'm going to click on that link integrate PayPal and then I will have three options PayPal buttons API credentials or PayPal checkout so I'm going to click on API credentials so I will click on open <coughs> okay so and then I will scroll down to where I have NVP slash SOAP API integration and then into brackets classic so that I'm going to click on manage API credentials okay so they need to verify my identity so I'm going to receive a text message with a security code on my phone so what I need to do is to click on next and I will receive a text message with a security code so what I need to do is to copy that security code and paste it here so my security code is 398 so that is it and then click continue so once my identity is confirmed I will be redirected to this page here so here it is so you can see on this page I have my API username okay API password and API certificate I told you you can either use the API certificate or API signature for me I prefer the API certificate that's why mine says active because I have already installed the certificate so for you you need to download the certificate you'll see an option of downloading the certificate so that we are going to upload it on our WordPress website so I will start by copying the username the API username so I will copy and then go back to my uh, website dashboard and then paste it where I have live API username and then I copy the password I copy the password okay so let me go back there I copy the password I paste it there Okay, and then as I said you need to download the certificate so when you click on download certificate you see that the certificate has been downloaded so what you need to do is to go back to WooCommerce and then choose file and then you select the file that you have just downloaded so this is it, this is it. so you click on it and then open and then when we scroll down I want us to change this so where you have landing page I want us to change it to billing non PayPal account so that even if the customer does not have a PayPal account they can be able to make this payment using their credit card or debit card without necessarily having a PayPal account they will do this on your website there will be no need to redirect the customer to a third party website so all the payment will be made on your website so I think everything else looks fine so what you need to do is to go down to where you have save changes so you will save this you will save the changes and as you can see the changes have been saved so now I want us to go back and try to purchase the product and see whether we will have the option that we have just created so let me log out and then let's go back to our website so I will go to the shop page so I select the product so you can see I have an option here PayPal you can pay by PayPal or debit or credit card so when you click here actually you can either do it here on the single product page or you can proceed to checkout you can add to cart you can view cart and then you can proceed to checkout so you enter your billing details you enter your billing details and then you need to click on PayPal pay via PayPal okay okay just wait a minute so that is it so you can see I have two options I can either pay via PayPal or pay with a bank account or credit card 
So if I want or if the customer wants to pay with a bank, I mean a credit card, they just need to click on this button and you see that uh, they will be provided with a form where they can be able to fill in their details, their card details. So, and of course, when they click on continue, they will have made, they will have placed the order and they will have made the payment. So you see that is working. It's working nice. So, um, I want us to go back to our dashboard. Okay, so let me go back to my dashboard. Okay, so there we are. So the final thing that I want us to look at or to, to finalize on. Now you see when you click on this button, you see nothing happens. Yeah, shop now. And of course, and also when you scroll down to where you have um, read more, this button also is not working. Shop now, also it's not working. So I want us to fix those. So what we do is that uh, I'm going to click on edit with Elementor, edit with Elementor that way. Okay. So as I told you, Elementor is the page builder that helps us to design, you know, our websites. So what we are going to do, um, when you click on this button, you see there is a link here. So instead of this hash, we're going to replace it with the link to that page. So which is HTTPS. Mm -hmm. So that is it. Let me show you how to get the link to that page. So what you do is that I'm going back to my website. So that is the website. So for you to get the link to the page where you want to link this button to, you just need to hover to hover on the, the shop page. Of course, we are going to link this button to the shop page. So when you hover of, on uh, the, the menu at the top where you have the shop page, down here you can see the, the link to that page. And you can insert that link. Um, to the Elementor page builder where you are supposed to uh, to link the button to that page. So that is it. Now what will happen, you see where we had the home page, the home page, uh, the products are not displaying this because we have only one product in stock. So as you add the products, the, the website will automatically add a few products on the home page uh, that are going to be featured uh, you know we call them the featured products we you can also change the products you can the, decide the products that you want to appear on your home page but we are not going to do that for this video i'm going to create a comprehensive video for that so that i can show you how to to do that but for now as you add more products they are going to be displayed on the home page a sample of them so that is it for this video so um so let's let us also link this button so the read more button the read more button so we are also going to link it to the about page so i just paste it there okay so um HTTPS. So that is it. Um, so you can make changes to this website. You can change this title, for example. You can say this is my no my e-commerce website. I think we have done the most complex part of it. So you can change uh, this this website. You can customize it to meet your demands. So uh, I believe you have learned 
uh, how to create a simple e-commerce website so if you like this video please drop a comment like share and don't forget to subscribe and also turning on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a video like this you will be the first one to get notified so goodbye and thank you for watching